Anybody see the Knicks Bulls game the other night? Oh, boy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I thought today's subject was gravity. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. I'm just trying something a little new with you guys, but uh, I can see you're just not ready for it yet. Okay, we'll go by the book. You happy? <clears throat> gravity is the cent cent centripetal force that keeps the Earth from flying to pieces and the universe from becoming a dark, endless, desolate cloud of dust. Wow, bummer. <laughs> Mr. Seaver? Huh? What does that mean in English? Uh, a fair question. Uh, a very fair question. Uh, does anybody have the answer to that? Well, before I give you my personal explanation, uh, why don't we see what the so-called experts have to say? The Earth's gravity exerts a constant and equal force on all objects, regardless of mass. For example, a feather and a coin must fall at exactly the same speed. Mr. Seaver, what? You just said a feather and a coin would fall at exactly the same speed. I certainly did not. <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> I tried it. Well, the book says that they do, so why don't we just move on, okay? <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Feather. Quarter. The book's wrong. End of story. Yeah. <laughs> they check this stuff out before they printed it. Uh, okay, okay. I got it. <laughs> it doesn't matter how you drop them. You can blow them out your ears if you want. Smart money's on the court. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get this. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Neither do you. <laughs> Finally, a teacher that's dumber than we are. <laughs> Is this a great country or what? Yeah.